Hi, I'm Rich at New Life Scientific, and right now we're back in our refrigeration room, and I've got a lot of Microm HM550s that were running through the refrigeration shop. And I have a customer that has run into a problem, and I told her I'd shoot a video, and I thought this would help a lot of people, um, specifically on, this, on the HM550s. And what it is, is on these HM550s, there's actually multiple options that you can have but if you don't want to use a certain option or you want to turn it off in the system i'm going to show you how to do that um, specifically sometimes people have a vacuum tome and the vacuum runs and it makes noises and they never use it so rather than listening to that thing run and wasting electricity and you don't want to use it just shut it off in the system or in this case i have a customer that has a peltier that seems to be heating up and she just wants to shut it off. So you can have those things happen, and we're gonna cover that what options are available, and then, and, then, and then again, like I said, the way we shut them off. But I'm up here, because all of my Microm HM550s are up on tables, because like I said, I do the refrigeration work, and rather than um, getting down on the floor, I like them lifted up and elevated, so that's why I'm up kinda high here, I'm standing on a stepladder to just be able to get to the screen here and do this video because these are the only ones I have available right now. They're all up on the, um, on the work table. So um, we're just going to come in here on the screen. I've got this one running. I just went through the whole refrigeration system on this unit. So it's working great. And so now after the refrigeration works, then I start going deeper into the unit and doing all the final testing. But right now, this particular machine right here, it, it actually has um, two options. And we're gonna talk about the options, like I said. Um, we're gonna just go through them. I've got them listed actually up here on a piece of paper. And we're gonna look at these. The first option is option O, and that's the specimen cooling. Now this machine doesn't have the specimen cooling. And if it did, um, it would actually have a, a um, I'm just gonna have you, can you swing the camera right down here over here on this particular one? You can see the gold colored head. That has the option O. That has the Peltier built into it. And that has what uh, a, a cooling, a separate cooling feature that allows that specimen to get the negative 50. So that's what you would have if you had option O, specimen cooling. You can set the value of the spe specimen temperature. Now this machine doesn't have it, and you can look down in there and you can see it's just a plain black head with no gold colored um, Peltier holder. So this particular machine don't have that. Now the customer that I have wants to shut this option off, this option O. So we're gonna look at that. But I wanna also go through these options. You have option M, that's motorized cutting drive. Now again, this machine does not have that option either. It's manually motor. There's no uh, automatic motor. You're just manually cranking the, the handle. Then we have the option V, and that's the vacuum tome. And that's the one I was talking about. This one does have the vacuum tome. And I've talked to customers that um, don't even know what vacuum tome is. Um, uh, so you, you can shut that option off if you don't want to use it. But if you do want to use it, that's fine. But if you aren't using it, why let the vacuum motor run and waste energy? So you can shut that option off. And then we, ha we have the option P, and that's the active deep freezing Peltzier. Now, I believe that every one of Microm HM550s has that option. And what that is, is that's, that's over here on the side, and you can see that square with a screw in the center of it. That has a Peltzier under it, and that is that option P. It's an active deep freezing, and you can actually go into the system and you can hit that to, for the Peltier to turn on and that will freeze or heat. You can actually heat your specimen on that so that you can actually um, essentially bring your specimen back off the freeze disc. 
And I'm going to actually look at that in a second too. And then last, we have option D, and that's an integrated automatic um, disinfection media. Now, this one does not have that option either. I've had machines that had every one of these options, and I have machines that just have a few and maybe not a, um, some other ones. So this particular machine has two options. It has the vacuum tome, and it has the P for Peltier element. Like I said, most all machines have the P option. But let's say I don't want the vacuum tome, I just want the P. Or I have the option O, and I don't want that turned on, I just want my option V and P. Or you, we can pick. Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the service setting, and we're going to show you how you can pick what options you don't want and what options you do want so that you can shut things off if you need to. So, like I said, I want to quickly look at this option P just to make sure everybody knows that they have a freezing device with a Peltier element where you can actually heat it too. So, we're looking at the screen here. So, if I just simply go to menu, the first thing it comes up is Peltier station, and that's the P option. So I'm just going to hit there, and the Peltier says off. You can just simply dial heat, hit it again, cool, or off. If I dial heat, it's going to heat up, and we can utilize it again, like I said, to separate your sample from, from your disk. Most generally, you want to cool it so you can freeze your sample on there. And again, that's that Peltier right below us down here in the square with the screw in the middle. So that's what that is, just for information. If you don't know what that is, it's a nice option. And then, of course, we have the defrost and everything in here that um, all machines that you can adjust your contrast, your coarse feed speed. So there's a lot of other things in here. But really what I'm wanting to look at now is just move forward and go to the service part of this so we can actually switch the options if we want. Okay, I'm going to hit the menu again. Now I'm going to actually come over here and toggle one time up. And you're going to see service here. As soon as I see service, I'm going to push these two buttons here and hold it at the same time. And it's going to go into a service menu. The very first thing you're going to see is option set. Now, option set is where we want to go to. You can see there's other really neat things that I utilize when I'm testing these machines, like Peltier tests, heater tests, compressor off, evaporator temperatures, cooling tests. These are service things that a technician like myself would um, utilize to check the machine out. Now, I don't want you to go into any of those things. I'm just wanting you to show you how you can just pick some options. So on this option set, you're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now we've entered in to where this machine is set. And like I said, it has the V and the P. Remember, um, the V is the vacuum tome and the P is the Peltier. And most generally, every unit has that. So if I want to pick something different and get rid of perhaps my vacuum on this one, I can scroll through and it's going to give me a, uh, a pick of whatever I want. Now, it, I scroll to this one and it says MP. Well, this does not have the motorized cutting drive. Even though I would select that, it still wouldn't work because this machine just doesn't have that option. I go to option P, where the only option I want is that Peltzier. Now, that option P will get rid of my vacuum tome if I don't want it. That option P will get rid of my specimen cooling if I don't want it. I can hit enter and then it will shut those options down. It will shut my vacuum tome down. It will only run that Peltzier there. I can go to OMV, but again, I don't have the O option. I don't have the specimen cooling and I don't have the M option, the motorized cutting. I do have the vacuum tome option on here and that would still run, but the machine itself would not recognize those other two options because they're not installed. 
I can go down again and I can go to the OV. So it literally has every option combination that's offered on these machines. And you can just simply scroll through them and you can go to O where you might only have, you might want to shut the other one off and only have the O option. That's the specimen cooling. The V, you might want only V. And that's most generally, like I said, all the machines most generally have that V and that's the, uh, or I'm sorry, most, most, uh, that's the V. I'm sorry. That the, um, the one I was thinking about was, um, the V is a vacuum tone. That's what that was. And the, and most options always have the P, the deep freeze. And there it is. This is the one where you have all the options. So you can just simply scroll through and, and this is my cheat sheet here. So there's my VP, there's the MP, and there's the P. Okay, I can choose the P. That gets rid of my vacuum tone, that will shut that off. I can hit enter. Now this, now to make sure that it actually recognized that, I can push enter again and it'll come back to P. And that's saying you only have option P on this machine. So in the case of the customer I have now, they want to perhaps shut off the specimen cooling. So they're going to just simply go to option P that still leaves them the active deep freezing and it'll shut off the option of the specimen cooling. So again, hit enter, hit menu, menu, and now we're all the way back out. And now my vacuum, turn, my vacuum is shut off. It doesn't work. If it was running, I could turn this knob over here that I'm turning and you could hear it run. So I need this turned back on again. So again, really quick, we're just going to go back to menu. I'm going to push up on this button. I'm going to push these two keys when it under the service, hold it, go back to the option set, hit enter. I'm back to the option P. Now I want to toggle where I can go back to where it's got the P and the V. There it is. I have the vacuum tone and the Peltzier. That's the options this machine has. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to save this, go back. Now my vacuum tone is turned on. And I turn it up. I don't think you can probably hear it. Um, it's too quiet. But it's now turned on. And if I open the door, it probably would be a little louder. But again, that's, that's how you can um, choose some options, turn some options off like that. And that gives you that ability um, to do that. And it's a simple process. Anybody can do it. You see, and I just toggled through the screen and got that done. But again, I think that for, um, for those that do run into that type of trouble, that should at least get you going in that, especially what I've heard in the vacuum where a lot of people don't use that and the specimen cooling option too. So if this helps, um, that's great. Like, like I said, I'm rich here at New Life Scientific. Um, we deal in a lot of these micro HM 550s. Like you see, I have four of them sitting here in the shop getting refrigeration work. We thoroughly go through it. Um, all of them get new compressors, get, all of them get flushed. Um, I go through the cooling system pretty thorough. And then again, I go through the electronics after this too. Sometimes I move that into another area for another technician to do too. But we want to make sure these machines are running good. But I hope this video helps and let me know. Give me some feedback here at New Life Scientific. Thanks.